Good morning, everyone. Today we are at the lovely Champuhan Ridge Walk. Look out there. It's gorgeous. Woke up early today to come do this walk. Definitely glad that we are here. Today though, Alex and I are going to survive the day on just $20. So we are going to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner here in Ubud together. And it is gonna be under the amount of 20 US dollars. We'll take you through our day, show you what we're getting for each meal, and at the end show you what everything cost us. Alex and I are feeling a little parched, maybe a little hungry. We just need a quick pick me up for breakfast. Let's go see what we can find. Yo guys, breakfast time. We have stopped at a spot that Alex actually found and demanded that we come to. I've been wanting to come to this place since we came to Ubud, but it's called Lazy Cat's Cafe. It's actually uh, pretty lovely out here. Very nice. Interesting photos on the wall. The whole theme of being lazy is great. We just ordered some morning drinks, I'll say. I got a lemon tea with honey. And I got a chai tea latte. We need a little pick-me-up after being up so early. Mm. I love lemon tea with honey. Chai tea, especially a chai tea latte, is up there at the top. We just got our breakfast. We ordered eggs any style, which comes with sourdough toast, Corey's favorite. We got our eggs sunny side up, comes with avocado, tomatoes, a little bit of sauteed spinach, and some avocado dip. Let's dig in. Bam. everything together. <laughs> Sourdough is like really chewy and just lovely. That was really good. We did split this one meal. But we also, for breakfast, don't eat that much. You can go to some of these nicer, fancier places and get good food for a good price. Before we show you the bill, we just wanted to let you know the exchange rate that we'll be using for this $20 day. This is the exchange rate for today. So $1 is currently 14,131. Here's our bill and this cute little sink tray. So our bill here is 110,770. Uh, if you did see on the receipt, there is tax at 10% and service at 6%. Not everywhere you go is going to have tax or service. Uh, we've gone places where there was none, and we've gone places where the combined was 21%. That's the highest I've seen. And that will put our total for breakfast at $7.84. So we'll go ahead and mark that down, and we have lunch and dinner left to go with about $12. We'll see you at lunch. Yo guys, it is now lunchtime, and we are hungry. We are at a local spot called Barkin Puppies. Uh, really nice spot up here on the roof. Kind of on the main, one of the main streets of Abu. One thing about eating here in Abu is it's gonna be cheaper if you're gonna eat the local food. Definitely. We have both ordered some traditional Indonesian dishes. I got nasi goreng uh, with lots of extra chips, which is just the fried rice with the top of the fried egg. I have got the nasi chup chai, which is stir fried vegetables and chicken, and then put into a garlic sauce. Also with a scoop of rice on the side, and this is a decent amount of food here, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, a lot of food. I like putting the sauce on the rice. So, what you have to do with nasi goreng is you get the fried egg on top, you crack it right down the middle, and you mix the yolk in with the rest of the rice so it gets nice and ooey gooey in that sauce. All these lovely chips here. 
you just scoop it. This is the best way to do it. Kind of like the perfect little bite right there. I put soup onto the rice, then I just start getting some vegetables. Rice, vegetables. Really good. It's like broth. So much flavor in that, it's crazy. They're running a special today on their Indonesian dishes. So the nasi chap chai and the nasi goreng were both 25,000 each. Here's our receipt. So the total for that was 50,000 even. There was no service or tax at this location, which you will find with a lot more local places, they won't charge you that. So our total for lunch today, and you guys saw how much food we got, it was quite a bit, is $3.54. Insane. That also means that Alex's dish and my dish were both under $2 each. And that brings our total for today just above $10. So it looks like we'll have plenty of money for dinner. We'll see you then. Hey guys, so it is dinner time in Abud. We are ready to eat our final meal of the day. We are at a lovely restaurant called La Mien. Kind of known for its ramen bowls, things like that. So I went ahead and Stuck to that and got a miso ramen bowl. And I got a sliced beef and onion bowl with rice and uh, side of soup. It's called Guidan. On the menu, it does say that this place has a 15% service charge, so we will have to take that into account, but I think we will be just all right. Mine looks delightful. Mine looks incredible. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Bam! <laughs> oh man. That's really good. I love noodles so much. <laughs> yeah, this meat is really tender. This wouldn't be a never ending video if we didn't showcase some noodles. Mine was great. I really liked it. I'm a huge fan of onions. Mine was really good as well. They love their broths here, but it definitely fills you up. I'm pretty full. Same. All right, guys last bill of the day let's take a look at it we had a 15 percent service slash tax fee and our total came to 112,700 in us that puts us with our exchange rate that we are using just under eight dollars and it's time to add up and here's what we get we have done it guys $19.35 was our grand total for our meals today. We have completed the $20 challenge. And we had some great meals today. We did visit three different types of places with, you know, breakfast being a little more Western style, lunch being Indonesian specific, and then we're here, which is, you know, not necessarily Indonesian specific, maybe just more Asian specific. Fantastic food, everywhere in a booth, and you can definitely do it on a budget. Anyways, before we close this video out, Alex, what was your favorite meal? It's a tough eight. It really is. I really, really liked the meal that I just had. Mm -hmm. But breakfast with my tea, I really, that's like the perfect thing to wake up to every morning. I'm actually going to say the cheapest was my favorite. Lunch? The nasi chap chai. If you are in Indonesia, get you some chap chai. If you liked our $20 challenge today, please give us a like and make sure to subscribe. 